that's strange. Wow, this whole, this entire uh, scene here has actually been, looks like they redid this entire scene from scratch. This is not what this area looked like in the uh, original version of the game. I wonder why they redid specifically this screen, because it doesn't seem like, well, I suppose they could re have redone a bunch of the screens, but at least that I've seen, this, you know, so far has been the only one. So, but I like it, actually. I like the new design a lot more. It's got a lot less dithering in it, but, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, the door for our home seems to have already been repaired. I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. Hmm. Well, I mean, maybe they didn't necessarily break the lock. Maybe they just hacked it, so it just, you know, there's no physical difference. Or maybe a robot took care uh, of it. It's possible. Most of the repairs to the building are handled by the automated systems. At best, it means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. Well, I mean, I'd imagine that actually plenty of, like, you know, sensors and stuff in the building would have noticed that somebody's breaking in. I mean, it's got to have, like, some sort of security system. I mean, clearly this is a decently swanky place, so you'd figure they'd have some sort of security sensors that would pick up the sound of the door being broken down. Oh, a lucky break! It seems my access codes still work! Hayden's door has far better security than yours does. Will do. Yep, this scene is the same as it is. So, but I do look forward to seeing if there are any other uh, areas in the game that have been uh, redrawn. Because uh, I really do like the way that they redid that scene. You know, it, it is a little bit... It, it kind of looks a bit different style-wise from this room to the outside of the... You know, to the hallway. Now that they, they kind of look a bit different now. Like, the color on the walls and floors is a little... Is a little darker in the hallway. So that that's a little bit odd. Because they used to line up, but... You know, it's it's a very, very minor thing. And who knows, in the final build of the game, it might uh, might be changed. I'm not surprised. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. So you say? I doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. Mm, especially if there was more than one person. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. That's true. <laughs> of course not. How silly. When I first saw that line in the original game, I just kind of stopped for a minute. This, I, I, I just found that kind of shocking. To make a machine intelligence truly self-deterministic, it must be able to self-modify. Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. And this is another reason why having sapient machines is a, a kind of scary idea in some ways, because of that exact reason. I could rip your arm off right now if I cared to. Please don't. Oh, that's not what that option used to say. Apparently I'm psychic. I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. Because it's bad? The social contract, as a useful construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. Okay, so because it's bad. It simply isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. Good, glad, glad that's, glad you understand that. Indeed. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. That is very true. I could have and may even have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. I mean, if he wasn't... I mean, we haven't seen what Hayden looks like, but I mean... I, I, I'd imagine he was probably at least bigger in size and stature than you are, Turing, so I... Hmm, I don't know. That probably would have been a worse idea. But... 
I... Oh, it's all right. Yeah, what's done is done. We need to focus on finding him. Excellent point. Let's start searching for clues. You know, I just... I mean, he is supposed to be basically human, but I just really like how just... easily relatable of a character Turing is. He's... He, he is, like a, like a real person almost. He's just... You kinda... kinda love him. Or at least I do. So, well, I mean, he was a tech worker, so let's break into his computer. That's Hayden's computer. Yes, it is. If it was someone else's, I would be worried and confused. Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their ROM. But desktop rigs like this are still more suitable to the intensive programming tasks Hayden needs to perform. Then a lot of other tasks that you do with the computer today must... They must have changed their implementation drastically in order for you to be able to do them with just, like, VR and, you know, pan controls or something like that. That... that's kinda crazy. Unfortunately, no, I don't. That would be too easy. And before you ask, I don't think I would be able to break past its security in any reasonable length of time. We have the, the fourth wall break response, but I'll just go at this one. Your door used a much simpler set of algorithms with a much weaker processor. I actually have a bit less free processing power than a regular ROM, despite my powerful CPU. Much of those extra clock cycles are used to maintain my complex personality algorithms. Oh, he sounds so proud when he says that. That's funny. I gotta say, this... At first, I wasn't sure how much voice acting was really gonna do for this game. You know, obviously, it's a text-based game, but... I, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised with how much more it adds. Hayden's computer has enough spare processing power to run counter-intrusion software, if I attempt to slice in. Mm. Frankly, even if I did have the power capability, I haven't found hacking to be one of my talents. That's a bit surprising and ironic. Yeah, that's true. That's an interesting choice of words there, Turing. The whole reason humans have always been better at breaking into systems than the systems are at keeping them out is because humans have intuition. While computers can only think in straight lines, humans can think sideways and upside down. I suppose so. But I mean, you know, that doesn't always help in every situation, I suppose. Computers definitely have their advantages. I lack that ability. Another good question. Well, I wouldn't say that, but as silly as it sounds, I just don't think I'm very good with computers. Oh, the irony. I do seem to have some skill with painting, though. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Commander Data. Hayden was impressed with some of my pieces, but I'm not sure he has a firm enough grasp of early 20th century abstract expressionism to give me an objective opinion. Pretty sure by now there aren't that many people who do have a firm enough grasp of that. And again, I suppose we are in Neo San Francisco, so there's probably bound to be tons of, you know, art museums and galleries, etc. So I suppose you could find somebody if you needed to. That's true. Machines are best at reproduction. Still life, impressionism, photorealism. But I find it more challenging and satisfying to paint what I feel. Yeah, we've, we've gone on a long enough tangent there. Alright. So, nice big window here. You know, if he was a programmer, I'm kind of surprised he would like, you know, just a huge swath of, you know, natural light coming in. That's not necessarily preferred. Hayden likes the natural light that this apartment affords. 
This window here is where I escaped from. Wait, really? It is a considerable distance to the ground below. Hmm. Critical system damage would be unlikely, but I would certainly have damaged my legs beyond repair, so... I took the fire escape! Yep, that's basically the perfect response. Of course you did. Then look at this plant. Let's give it some milk. <laughs> water. Plants need water. I don't care. Give it, give it milk. Milk. Plants need milk. <laughs> oh boy! Thanks for telling me. I wonder how many different responses there are. Okay, this seems like there's just two. I know in the original game, some like there are a couple objects, you know, specific objects that have lots of responses. <laughs> True enough. Let's listen to this plant. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Oh, we have a memory card down here. All right. And we've got some. Uh, these are some game consoles. Oh yes. And if you click uh, before the text is finished scrolling or press spacebar, it will skip to the end. Mega, Mega 16, a Doral, even a Famulink. I believe that's a reference to the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis, which is 16-bit. Or maybe it's the TurboGrafx-16. Uh, the Doral, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, and then the Famulink is quite clearly a Famicom, which was the, uh, the Japanese name for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Let's use them. Yes, and? All right, totally tubular. But let's use them anyway. You're not actually thinking about switching one of those games on right now, are you? Yeah, I'm gonna be writing a review on one of the games. That's definitely what I'm gonna be doing. All right, what's in these books? Oh, I think I see something under those reference books. All right. <laughs> I, I vaporize them. Let's use this tablet. Ah, that device. Oh. Hmm. In this version of the game, uh, Turing is a bit more hostile against this tablet, it seems. I find it rather annoying that he prefers to go basic rather than entrust me with his schedule. Hmm, that's an interesting change. Uh, it, he, they added, Tur Turing is definitely more annoyed. He, he just kind of was neutral in the original game. In this, uh, in this update, they've, uh, they've changed that quite a bit. That's, that's interesting. I find that, I, I like that. That's a, that's a nice it change. Is well within my skill set, but he claims he does not want me to begin to feel subservient to him. Well, that's a fair point. The memory card slot is empty. It seems to be a match for the memory card you discovered. Well, there we go. Hayden must have removed the memory card in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. Gotta love that little, you know, you know, success noise, the little snap of the finger sound effect. Hmm. If only he had kept his information stored with me, he would not have had to resort to such crude measures. But they also seem like they would be ineffective measures because the, the memory card is just lying on the floor a couple feet away from the tablet that it fits in. So I don't see how that would be effective at all at deterring people from just putting the memory stick back in. We did it easily enough. Not really. I guess we'll have to go ask. Well, who? Says here they were going to meet at a club called Stardust, located in the Castro District. I'll mark it on your city map. Oh, that's new. 
We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat character. Interesting, they have a little notification for when you get uh, locations added to your map. Perhaps they can shine some light on why Hayden was snatched. Oh yeah, that's right, we don't, we don't, we don't know about that. Oh, excuse me, I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. We shouldn't put that off any longer. Once finished, I will have an assortment of new ways to assist you. For example, I'll be able to reroute any call or message that you receive while we're out and about. I just need to ask you a few questions. This is an exciting thing, I promise! Yeah, user account creation. Can't wait. That's also true. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. Uh, they've uh, Another thing I believe they added to this uh, update was they added a bunch of new animations. Or at least not a bunch, but they added a couple new animations to a lot of the characters. So they're, they're definitely more expressive now. Even when they're just displaying, you know, their classic uh, facial animations and such. Uh, the characters definitely seem more expressive visually. And I, I also like that. This is just how things are done. I suppose that it does kind of, you know, help that they also have voice acting to kind of show that, but even if you turn the voice acting off, now it's it's easier to tell what the character is sort of feeling. I'm certain I could spend a few quadrillion clock cycles to bypass that part of my operating system, but that seems less efficient than just running the setup program. Fair point. So, here we go! Welcome to the first time user setup for your new relationship and organizational manager running the latest build of Parallax's live intelligence processing system. And again, I have to say, I, I love I, I love the sort of like default sort of derpy dummy face that comes up whenever it's not, you know, necessarily Turing speaking, sort of just like kind of a subconscious little generic face sort of thing. I, I, I like that. I always find this face just super goofy and funny to look at. I'll need to ask you a few questions, and then you can get right to managing your life with your new ROM. If you have any questions, feel free to consult our online FAQ and setup guide, or contact our support department directly. Wow, so you mean in the future we'll actually be able to talk to real people? No way. I actually know they've got ROMs, so we'll talk to real not people? Oh boy. Awesome. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use in account creation, online communications, and conversational speech? Alright, sounds good. Oh! What? Oh, uh, that's a bit odd. I'm not sure how much I like that. In, in the original game, you could just type in your, your name on the keyboard. Although I suppose this build was meant to come out for consoles too. But, uh, I kind of wish they'd kept the... Just being able to type it in yourself rather than having to click on it like that. That's, that's a bit... That, that's, that's more awkward. So, I'm not a huge fan of that, I have to say. Anyway, of course, we will enter our name as Game Cola. Oh, and by the way, that sound effect, you know, that little bleeping and blooping is the sounds that play when you don't have uh, voice acting enabled. So, if they don't have voice acting for a specific line of dialogue or something like that, then uh, they just play a little bleeps and bloops. That's what the original game did all the time. Thank you. I have input your name. That also makes me wonder uh, if they removed a lot of references to your name in 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 the dialogue because Turing and other people would occasionally talk to you and refer to you by name in the original game, it makes me wonder if they took that part out of a lot of the dialogue so that they'd be able to voice act it 
uh, in line with what the actual text said on screen. Next, could you tell me which pronouns I should use for you in referential and conversational speech? Always good to see that the game is extremely inclusive. You know, if I had named the character James for myself, I probably would have said he, him, his, but since it's Game Cola, our big group here, I'm going to call us plural. Thank you. I have input your pronouns. Sounds good. Finally, could you tell me your preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations? Now, I'd like to point out, this is the last thing he needs to know about us. How, how does any of that information, I mean, I suppose our name, but other than our name, how does that help him, like, reroute our phone calls? Uh, that's just, just kind of something I thought about for a second there. Oh, they've added a new option there. Hey, hey, lol? Halal? I don't know how to pronounce that. I've never heard of it. Kosher, gluten-free, vegan, alcohol-free, and of course... God damn it, Turing. And uh, 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 this is definitely my diet. Diet set as God damn it, Turing. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, they voiced it. I I'm so glad they voiced that. I mean, I suppose they, you know, they didn't have. They only had a limited set of things that you could pick from. But I'm so glad they even had this. The God damn it, Turing. <laughs> oh, I like that. Seriously. Thank you for confirming. I have obtained your physical location from GPS and will load local data into my memory as it becomes available. Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy or restart setup to enter it again. I feel like they were supposed to be Does the that little- sound right? Ah, that's why I was about to say, I think they're missing the dialogue little bleeps and bloops there, but they probably got muted because there is voice acting. Yep, that sounds perfect! Thank you! See? That was relatively painless. Eh. Emphasis on relatively. You should now also be able to access the local map of Neo SF. The meeting with Tomcat isn't until later this evening. Perhaps we should head back to your apartment for now. Alright, let's go. I'm sure we can find some common ground while getting to know one another better. Fair enough. It will be an efficient use of our time together. Efficient, yes. You know, it's only just occurred to me, actually, but this they, they changed the font in this game. The font is much taller. It's... It's taller than it is in the original game. I really like that, too. It's, uh... The, the other font in the game, the characters were all pretty small in the text. So sometimes it would be kind of hard to figure out what, you know, what letter was what. I, I definitely like the taller font. It makes it easier to read. Considering this is a text-based game, that's generally an important thing to have. So, nice touch. Thank you for escorting me here. Aw, oh, no problem. Let's head back to your home. 